Certainly glad you could join us today. That's just fantastic. We have instructors that travel all over the country. Spray the joy of painting. Maybe back here in our world, maybe we have some little trees that live in here. So just decide where they live in your world and just begin tapping in some very, very basic shape. I'm not looking for a lot of detail. It's too far away. Too far away. You love the paint. But I would suggest you start in the center and we'll work in both directions because I want to get progressively lighter as we work outward. Hi, I'm Doug with the Bob Ross Company. You just watched a clip of Bob doing pretty little background trees with the half size round brush. Let's take a deeper dive and talk about using this brush right. So I've got mixed up here some midnight black, some phthalo blue, and a tiny little bit of phthalo green. And the important thing here is to load the brush properly. Now if you look at this brush, it's called a round brush, but it's slightly oval shaped. And there is a horizontal oval and a vertical oval. I'm going to be using it horizontally today to make these background trees. So I look at the end of the bristles and I notice that I'm holding it horizontally. I'm going to pull both sides through this dark mixture that I've made. And then I want to push the tips back up in and tap. You'll see that little ridge of paint building up. That little ridge of paint is now living out on the end of those bristles. So now I just think about where my trees are. And they're little faint background trees somewhere in here in this light area in the center of the canvas. And if you look, I don't, if I just tap and just kind of go from side to side as I work down the tree, it makes the shape of the tree. Now it's going to be picking up that liquid white that's already on the canvas. And these trees will get fainter and fainter as they get smaller and farther away from us. Fainter and fainter. And I just tap. If I just tap down, and you don't have to go fast like Bob. You can go real slow and plan your tree out. Fainter, fainter, fainter as we work out into the distance. And if I want darker trees, I reload the brush and start again. Now these trees are maybe getting a little bit closer to me. A little bit darker. A little bit taller. Something about like so. Now to highlight the trees, you're going to take your brush and maybe just wipe it off on a paper towel. You've picked up quite a bit of dark paint. You don't have to quite go into thinner yet. Just wipe it off. But I will touch into a little bit of the liquid white because a thin paint sticks to a thick paint. A little bit of liquid white and I'm going into titanium white. It's still got some of that dark in the brush so it makes kind of a light blue color. Same tapping motion. Think about where light would strike and just touch. Now don't kill all the dark areas in the tree as you tap on your highlights. Now this is real subtle. These are real far back there, so we're not going to see too much detail. Just some little highlights. Touch them gently on. Come over to this larger tree here. So don't Fill up all the dark areas. Leave some of that dark in there. And I can do some highlights down here on these lower, maybe these are frozen bushes down here at the base of these trees. And just like that, we've got some beautiful background trees with a nice little round foliage brush. This is the half size round. Very quick, really nice effect. And thank you for painting with me today. I'll see you next time.